fifth and like trying to play the long game and try and set themselves up. Yeah, you have, a, you, have a, you have a unique insight into that as a as a GM. Yeah, it's um, I haven't ever been in. Well, I suppose I have been in a rebuild because obviously we killed the juggernaut and went back to. Um, I went to this North American roster, but like I haven't been in a rebuild of a roster consistently like to the level that they're going through now, and I don't, I don't envy them for that. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you know, you wouldn't no. want to be put in that position. Well, oh, okay, that's a nice double with the dualies. Yeah, Potolo is here. Yeah, they do. Potolo needs that kill, and he can't get it. Good swing from Alex on the other side, and that's pistol to nip. That's rough. Was that four v two? Yeah, I think it was, and Kaspersky just absolutely. Smash shit them. it on them, bro. Like, that was mad. Kind of a gnarly round from him with the dual Berettas. Yeah, it really was. A nice little a nice little double kill down by Double Doors to save save the round. Right here. First one. Second one. Ooh. Dang. Now, the upside to boss losing this is maybe we see the Pwn alone shotgun. It's kind of a famed move for him. On okay. his side? Good though, bomb. No, I mean, you probably... You know, you won't, but I'm, I'm teeing it up <laughs> yeah. for when it could happen in the future. There's a mic I issue. Love, we had to buy some time. So we I talk love, about shotguns I on the T-side. I thought my mic issue. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, you're good. I love I love the Pone Alone shotgun meta. Okay. He is a bit of a beast with him. What kind of a shotgun is his go-to? The Nova? The auto shotgun? Well, I, actually, I haven't really seen him much since they implemented loadouts and whatnot. So I don't know how he has that set okay. up, right? But he used to be a menace with really whatever shotgun you would give him. Whether I think usually it would be like Mag 7, something yeah. like that. Like, you put him on an overpass, Mag 7, kind of vibe, you know? Yeah. That's the noise Action movie, that's the noise. The, yeah, Intimidating the noise, the shotgun cocking. What shotguns do you guys have in your loadouts? Uh, we discovered earlier today, I don't know, I know absolutely nothing about skins. I think I, I have, have the Nova. Nova. Skins, just oh, really just the, in the, the loadout? Uh, I think I have a Nova. I, I have think... the Nova and the XM, but I've dropped the Max 7. Yeah, that's interesting. But honestly, I think the Nova's kind of underrated for how cheap it is. So and Zeus, it's accurate at range, it's like we had, to an extent. A thousand had, bucks and you get 900 back. Yeah. One kill and you've, one like, kill and oh, you've made it back. It. We yeah. had Zeus on the on a cast of game yesterday, and he was telling Alex and I he thinks the, the Nova is like secretly under underrated. Like it's actually really, really yeah, strong. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's I mean, simple when he was playing. Was <laughs> when using he was, the Nova, was, around. was using the Nova a lot on Inferno. Yeah. Trying to get ahead of the curve. That was the swan song of his career. That's where yeah, he jumped was, the shark. That was kind of what he's most known for. If yeah. I had to it's think, the shotgun, you know, the shotgun era of the last Pro League season. Nova on Inferno for about three weeks. Yeah, it was a yeah. good three weeks, though. Whenever I play the Nova, I always feel like it's either I get an insta headshot from like a distance that is way too far Unreasonable. to be like yeah. reasonable, or I'm like point blank and I miss every And bullet. you get like 10 damage done. Yeah. So I just go for the XM and then just... I think I have the XM in my loadout, but I don't ever buy it. I feel bad. I'm like, I'm like Nico. It's not real Counter-Strike. I'll drop it to someone though. You're a purist. Yeah, exactly. Good spray down, kind of, done damage. There's the backup and there's the cleanup. Yeah. Was that five MP9s Five MP9s. Again? Yeah. Yep. I actually really like that. I think this is the amount of money you can make, especially if you know they didn't plant. Yeah. It's bang for your buck, man. Exactly. It's so cheap for, for the power of that weapon. Although the UMP is coming back into fashion in, in small pockets. Yeah, I I, yeah I've seen it. I have a bone more. to pick with a liege about that one. I need to, I need to pick <laughs> He's loving brain. it. He's I, been really, really I, enjoying I've it. Said a I talked to him at Katowice and asked him about the VP UMP buys. And he was like, I don't know why anyone's buying that. Like, the MP9 is just objectively <laughs> better. And then he comes to Pro League and he's buying the UMP. So now I have to go back. He, and went, get, he, went, get, back he went back and he tried the, it. And yeah. he was like, oh, I get it. Now. Yeah, he's like, now I, I understand. understand. He went and checked the file log, saw the damage, saw the, the inaccuracy values. Yeah, he uh, he's always someone who's got an open mind. I yeah. think he likes to he, he wants to eke out every uh, little little bit of performance. Yeah, he does look for all those little half percentages of where he can he can get an advantage somewhere. I've seen him do some filthy things with it in some of the scrim vods, like just like running onto B site on Vertigo and just like tapping people away on like quad and then he kills the guy white box. And just okay. In, like, Jesus, he's like eight bullets. And using it like people. a rifle. Yeah, exactly. Using it like a short range rifle almost. It's better than the FAMAS either way. Yeah, well, we can all agree yeah. on that. <laughs> yeah, it's not a hard competition. <laughs> oh, wow. Third round orp, he upgraded Wrinkle. All right. The Wrinkler is in. he dropped his MP9 to Kaspersky, who died, and then he's upgraded. I mean, Wrinkle's been a bit of a menace with that orp. He did have that one round where he chased on, an ace. And on Vertigo? And he got a lovely 4K, chased yeah. the ace, gave away the orp. I think I that like second flick over towards Sandbags was yeah, pretty yeah, filthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, Wrinkle's someone that people have spoke about for a while now. So it's nice to see him delivering and looking good. But it's a very slow round from Boss. Let's see what they're cooking up right now. Pone alone. No shotgun in sight. But he does have a funny AK. They've got two smokes. Ooh, that's a nice opener. You get and one of them. An efficient opener. They haven't yeah. used a piece of utility for that. Yeah. Smoke in mid. That gives them the option donut, but the guy in donut knows nothing's coming. So they're still pretty good. Oh, okay, they're rotating into mid. And then Op is at the A bomb site, trying to tap with the AK-47. They know the number of MP9s. So you can see they really want some of these distance fights. They're trying to hold off on some of these executes, and they'll just play contact. So Maxter is up next. Good timing. Oh, they're going to step. Oh, no. Ponalon realized he didn't have the timing. Now Maxter's behind the smoke, but it don't matter. Did you save the MP9s? Like, you saved the AWP. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you actually got two head armors as well. Yeah. You, you get those MP9s those. and some body blocking. Yeah. And actually, their money's still pretty good. They've still got 84k on Alex and 3k on Maxter. So they're coming back in with rifles either way. Oh, hell yeah, they're gonna even try and take a couple away. Mm -hmm. What's up with Fang? You know Fang. Yeah. He's, he's on the team. Yeah, uh, he was on with us for what, like a year and a half? Yeah, what's he like as a, as a teammate, as a player in a competitive environment? Uh, he's... He's not a liege, I guess is the only way to put it, right? You know. Um, well, who is? Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> How many allegiances are out there? One guy. <laughs> yeah, I've only got one. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely a guy who um, you know wants to build a career out of this, and he's he's trying his best. He, yeah, I mean, he's not a liege. That's the reason he's not with us. You know? Right, right, it's, right. It's yeah, you can't pass that, up really. on that opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Yep. When when liege gets sort of not given to you, but like, you know, sort of handed. Yeah, silver if, platter. If, if, yeah, yeah. If, if, he's on the, if he's on the market and he wants to come to you, it makes perfect sense to get him. So, you know, someone ultimately has to uh, has to pay the price and that makes sense. And um, yeah, I mean, in terms of roles, they were basically one for one. So yep. there, there was no real other option oh, yeah. uh, for us. So yeah, he's, um, he's a guy who can be a very big impact player. He plays lots of impact uh, roles. And, you know, there have been times where he's, you know, dragged us through games in, in the past. Um, you know, he almost dragged us to the Rio Major in the game against Imperial, like right. especially on that overpass. He was hitting three Ks like every other round, winning clutches. You know, he's a guy who can have like really big impact on on a, on a round. So um, I think for Boss, he's he's giving them like a, an extra bit of um, yeah, a bit of firepower, especially which typically actually in NA firepower is not the most important thing. But I think his experience that he can I was going to say and like communications late round. He's got to be one of the most yeah. experienced players on that team. Yeah, he, he, he's also a player who who can have impact in calling, like doing setups and you know calling around himself. So I think especially on the SCT sides, he probably brings quite a lot um, as well. So yeah, I think for Boss, he's a, he's a really good player to have. So hopefully it works out for them. I don't think he's contracted in any way. I think sort of just playing with them until he gets an offer or, or they get an offer but um, certainly for now I think they're pretty committed as a team so until that happens they're uh, I mean they're all free agents right so we'll have to see yeah it's a good little advertisement there if they're able to uh, if they're able to show off here I think these guys are actually way too good to be not, not salaried yeah. in NA. Like, I feel like they, they're probably the best team that's not salaried. I mean, there's them and there's party astronauts who have qualified for all the uh, ESL Challenger events. Um, they just played in Melbourne. They're also going to Yun Shipping in, in June. But yeah, I think between them and, and Boss, they're the, probably the two best uh, unsalaried teams Unsa right now. Unsigned teams. Yeah. Yeah, the hierarchy in NA has been changing, shifting slowly. Yeah, and there's been some new orgs coming back in, which has been quite nice. You know, the wild cards and the MA that's coming in is really uh, is really good. So th things are looking up, but there's still a lot of work to do. Trending positive, a long way to go. Yeah, a long way to go. Kind of how this round is shaping up for boss at the moment. Trending yeah. positive. They must know Max is here. They got a three on one, but they still got to find it out. Oh, that flashbang. Oh, he's blinded uh, himself. He's done it. It was one of the flashes. It's, there was a couple others he could have thrown. Oh. Spursky's put a bit of intrigue on the round now. That stops the plant as well. Yeah, and they've got no more smokes left, so the CT angle is going to become a problem soon. They're going to have to get aggressive somewhere together. Yeah, they need to double peek Kaspersky and try and kill him, but they don't know if anyone's CT. They've taken too much time making a decision, which means, yep, yep. that's going to happen. Oh, it's a rough way for it to go. You get handed a full blind player in main and a runway into the A site, but Kaspersky ruins everything for boss. Just like the pistol. Yeah, they spent a bit too long trying to figure out what they wanted to do. And by the time they did that, Pernalone had to hold the CT angle because the smoke was clearing and then he couldn't hold Donut. Then he could do nothing else. Yeah. 
And the new, yeah, the new Maxter was there because he got that kill. I suppose he could have been flanking mid, but... Yeah, that's tough. Insane Casper! Insane Casper. I mean, dude, he's been, he's been really, really good. I, I actually think uh, Kaspersky's done a really good job. Casper Sky. Whatever doing, we want to call yeah, him. Yeah, of doing a, a good job of coming in here because big boots to fill. Oh, right? sure. Like, Rez is meant to be the star, the grizzled veteran of NIP, and you find out that that's who you're going to be replacing. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll try and make up for the experience. Been a little bit underwhelmed with Blue Phoenix thus far, but I think the rest of the gang have all looked really solid. I think it was Blue Phoenix on Vertigo who kept getting abused over towards B. He's had a bit of a slow start here now as well. Well, this is another winnable, uh, winnable-ish post-plant. Well, not, uh, anymore. not anymore. This is Let's see. a tough one. Fang. A liege cosplay. It's on. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so if you just giggled after you said yeah. it. <laughs> Let's see. What can he do? He's getting pressured and run down. It's Kaspersky again. Absolutely nailing them right now. Bro, Nip gets Ooh. so loud, Ooh. and they're Ooh. always, they're always yelling at their No, they do this every game. <laughs> they yell at their opponents every time they've played. I, I like it. I'm all for it. Well, it felt like it kind of bit them in the ass in that Heroic game, because they were yelling at Heroic, like, wake up! And then Heroic, and then heroic did, wake did up. actually wake up. Yeah. And then Heroic did win that 2-0. But what I think with Boss, you probably could get in their heads. Yeah, I mean, it's the inexperience of the team, right? Yeah. And this is an environment that you probably aren't in too often, and you got everyone yelling at you, calling you noobs. That's That always feels personal. That cuts cuts real deep. Uh, if someone yelled at me, I would cry. So <laughs> it would work, you know? I wish I'd known that before the 1v1. Jason, you weren't yelling. You were yeah. barely even talking. You were so laser-focused. <laughs> I know, I, I really felt was. It. I, I felt the win. focus. Yeah. I wanted Chad. It's nothing against you, Harry. No, it's fine. I was just... I saw Chad in the next stage of the bracket, yeah. and I had to get there. <laughs> it's personal at that point, was it? The next one's personal. <laughs> oh, you've still got to play him. I still got to play him. Oh. But that's going to be an enthralling matchup. That's one that everyone's looking forward to. The best of NA versus... An Australian. <laughs> 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 truly, truly a goated matchup. Yeah, there's so many storylines, and I'm getting thousands of tweets about it. Oh, here we oh, go again. Easy with so the AK. Oh, my lord. So good, man. He's having uh, no problems, is he? He's loving all the fights that have been presented to him so far. This is very put together. Just a little anti eco. Not getting too dangerous, not getting too expensive. Eh, eh. A little more expensive. Yeah, one more and it would be it would slip from uh, solid to, to bad, to not good. Yeah. I think they're pretty in control of this right now, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, there shouldn't even be a chance for a bomb plant. I mean, the only, the only obviously, the only danger is the one player in the B-bomb site. He's yeah, if he walks out and clears wood, just only clears wood, doesn't clear short, doesn't clear long. Exactly. He's, okay, well, he's covered off short. I mean, he definitely could swing this. Ah, oh, safe pair of hands is Alex. Good shit, boys. Nails it. Yeah, Good was... shit, boys. I agree. Yeah, that was on point. Job well done for NIP. All right. Well, this uh, this offense getting shut down so far. Was that a tennis ball on the desk? It was a tennis ball on the desk. What's what's, what's the, the is that just to a throw around a little? Stress like, ball? Yeah. Do any of the coal guys bring anything onto the desk? Uh, Floppy has a, a Mogus that he brings. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she has two, because he left one in in, uh, in a boot camp location, and then found it again, like, eight months later, just sitting. <laughs> just <laughs> still, still there. there. That's yeah. sus, man. Nobody That's else wanted it? Not a single other person wanted it? No, apparently not. Right. And it wasn't like a it wasn't like a private boot camp. It was like a public land cafe. They just, it was just sitting on there, like... Uh, eight months later, he yeah. comes back and finds it. He was like, hey, this is mine. <laughs> just... Grabs it back. Sweet. Be funny if it wasn't his. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> He's just stolen, stolen it. Yeah. No, it's Some just... ten-year-old just starting his Counter-Strike career just goes <laughs> no, home the, and hugs the, it every the, night. The, He's uh, just snatched it from him. The the person behind the uh, desk said, "Like, oh yeah, no, this got left in a bootcamp room once." <laughs> it's like oh, that's me. I left it there. All right. Look, they've had so much. So many problems getting past this He's one guy. He's surely dead yeah, here with he two should... guys, two ankles. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. 
Finally, that's something for boss. Come on now, boys. They yeah. really, really expected him to be there. Bring like, it home. Although this is still a B stack from Nip. They're, they're sort of walking into a trap here. Yeah, they it's commit a, all the way. It's the gamble setup, isn't it? Like, oh. Uh, yeah, but now they must be realizing there's two guys in cave. Oh no, they've given it back. They've given it away. Uh, Maxter's here, the AWP is here. Fang, Fang needs to get more active in middle and figure out what's going on. Otherwise, they're just going to keep walking into this. Oh. Uh, you do well yeah. to win that out at least, but Wrinkle can put a stop to the round here and now. Yeah, Fang needs to get active in middle. He's still elbow. Yeah, there's 15 seconds. Like, you can't go back anymore. You are going into the Wrinkle AWP. Yeah. Wrinkle drops the bomb. Oh, didn't need yeah, to take that peek, but that will be the round. Molly on the bomb. Has Fang to has him. to chase this kill. Yeah. He's got two seconds. One second. And that is a 5v3 that goes against Boss. This was actually something I saw in the uh, big game as well. Like not being active enough on mid, not being able to even call the guys back to A or being close enough to help on B. Yeah, I, I think you nailed that when you saw it as well. It's just chilling at the bottom of mid and not really being able to have an impact on the round. But I mean, look, I, this round is kicked off by Alex. It's some incredible shots from him, triple kill in the round overall and Wrinkle's able to just finish it off. And yeah, that'll get frustrating. What are you doing? Definitely. <laughs> I, th I think they were right? right there. Like they're saying, yeah. that, like, okay, we had three guys on the B site. You already killed two guys on the B site. Like, you need to be active across the map and have map control elsewhere. Like, they needed to have an out if they needed it, and they didn't get it. Oh, it's going. It's getting worse. This you've you've had advantage situations that you've let slip away, and now you're not getting them anymore. And. I feel bad that we pulled Graham in for this one, right? <laughs> Meant to be in about to kind of, you know, shine a bit of a light on the NA fandom, and they're getting a little wrecked right now. Yeah, they're definitely struggling. They don't look anywhere near as uh, comfortable as they did against me. <laughs> in, their, in their previous <laughs> games. <laughs> but, I mean, we, we also we also played these guys at the RMR. Like, these guys had a really rough, rough RMR run. They beat MRBR on this map. They then played us on, on this map, and actually, like, kind of, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest, we got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> like, we were the better team, but we also won five clutches yeah. for their yeah, one yeah, yeah, and yeah. won 13 10. Okay. And three of those clutches were on CT side, so, like, yeah, they were dragging us out of right, right, right. shit places it in the economy. Have, like, it could have been the other way real easy. Could have easily swung. Like, the last round was a 4v1 from Holzerg with a tech nine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like okay. it, yeah. it could have it been really bad. You did get lucky. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we also played some good rounds as well, but, like, we won 13-10 with five clutches to their one. Like it yeah. could have easily gone the other way around. But so, I'm sure in that game as well, they didn't. They didn't look like like this. No, they. I think they like losing what, five on threes, getting kind of lost in the no. Three they three. played with a lot less respect. I would say. Yeah, yeah. Like, they were a lot more in our face. They were just like you know, they were just running and gunning. They were just killing us. You know, it was it was hard to play against because they were so in your face. Yeah. And it feels like they're very timid. They're very worried about what they want to do next, and that's what's causing them not to have like the impetus to get onto the site with multiple guys or you know trade the kills. Because well, I remember even like when you look at someone like Fang. I think it was before he joined. Call he was on Rugrats. I want to say was the team oh, name. Yeah, it that's, was like that's that like, like a mixed year squad. And a bit yeah, 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 yeah. So it was a little while before, but like they actually went on a bit of a tear and he was playing some no respect in your face counter strike. He looked insane. And so then when like, you know, the call up came to go to call, it was like, yeah, it's not surprising. But I agree, man. This feels like they're they're like really respecting NIP. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're and that's like not the that's not what you expect when I see these names in the server, bro. Ponal hadn't even yeah. bought a shotgun yet. This is <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm watching, like, Cryptic had got, like, 34 kills or something against Big. Mm. And he was just, like, rolling through K, yeah. rolling up B ramp. He was just hitting headshot after headshot with the AK. Like, yeah, was, we're getting none of that at the moment. We're getting none of that moment. And it's. This it's one tough has to watch. some legs, maybe, because. I mean, they've got the site. I made it deeper than they're ready for. Uh, Fang, Fang's actually got some impetus in mid now. Like, he's up closing up to Red Room. Like,. This okay. Is, this is what we needed this is in the better. previous yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is a fang Ooh. move right here. Backstabs on, and he should have at least two. One kill. I mean, found. he's got he got all three of them stuck now. Yeah. Yeah, that's more like that's it, exactly Fang. It. Yeah. That's more like it, buddy. And so that's how he'll put that round on the board.
for the boss squad. They finally break through the streak. That's a beautiful contrast, though, to the round where he was sat back as they were attacking the B-bomb site, waiting for a rotation. This time he's like, nah, I'm pushing forward. Really well done. And also, you got to say, probably a miscom from NIP. At, 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 no, at no point did any of them even consider Red Room to be a point of attack. It's because they haven't tried to go Red Room. Yeah, that's fair. Like, they've they've almost conditioned them to feel like they don't actually have to worry about mid. At least that rotator from the A-bomb site, right? Like, hey, Red Room is open. Maybe, maybe it's possible. Maybe I mean, maybe there. that's also where you've been so used to boss, like, not pushing the the envelope there. You know, you kind of are discounting it to a certain You're like, yeah, they've just kind of been all in, all in the bomb side so far. So we'll get a bit lazy in the rotate, you know. Yeah, yeah. Also, you have a good bit of inexperience on it. True. Right? Like... Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to like be super harsh on it. There's there's some reasons for it. <laughs> no, I ain't like chasing me. You want to watch your tone, right? Is, this is a young team. <laughs> <laughs> they're only just they were standing. Like, uh, no, this is fine. Oh. Here we are. Fang. Oh, this is mate. He's re-energized. Yeah, yeah, right. Whole different beast. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Didn't expect the nade. Didn't expect the. Uh oh, Alex, you got to back away. That utility's not going to save you. Darty's at the bomb site again. Another opening. Yeah. They use three of their smokes in mid though now, so this is a very. Yeah, nothing, nothing to hold off the yeah. retake. They've got a few Molotovs. Or even get the bomb down. Oh, awkward situation though. Can you, Freshy, finding a frag two v three? All right. Still definitely doable. Freshy needs a new spot. Flash him out to push long or something. Yeah, they're very open right now. Oh, the timing on the Utah yep. pole is brutal, and right as they're teeing up to take long back, that's where Maxter moves in. Yeah, they, they put a lot of Utah into taking mid with Fang, and that left them quite... How do you say? Limited. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't have a lot of options in the post plan, right? Well, I think they're probably they, when you run a strat like that, like they, there is like this weird feeling when you get into the bomb site and like you haven't really encountered anyone. Like you've only got the one kill. You expect to be fighting someone else, right? And then you're kind of like, yep. oh yeah, we have the bomb site. I have no idea where anyone else is. We have an opera deep. We can't really push. Yeah, Q. I think if anything, that's when the alarm bells are yeah. going off. It's like, oh shit! Like we wanted way more fights right. before we, wanted before we more got kills, the bomb down. Like, and now we need space, yeah. and they're already in position. All right, final line's got the lineups. If they just go. If they just keep going. They don't know, but they are gonna go. Oh, and it's Blue Phoenix up first. Uh, one smoke, and done. Though. Yeah, that's all right. Plays through the smoke. Still, this is good for Boss. Fang's coming in on another mid lurk as well. Well, hopefully he is coming in. Yeah, actually, that's he, been... he's obviously got to respect did, the smoke. But what did the CTs use other utility on? They've got nothing for this retake, and it's like a minute and thirty seconds left in the round. Uh, they threw two smoke. They did two, mid two, control. Two, two, two molly's in the smoke in mid. Yeah. And I guess they used something at B. They had they started with two guys mid, three guys B. So I'm guessing they played heavy B somehow. Dang. All right. Yeah, Fang this, needs to activate here. This is just a round. They're saving at this point. They obviously don't know yet, boss. Now they have the inclination. So round number three for boss. Yeah. This is nice as well. They're even pushing in a CT. They're going to go clear that out. And so they won't have to run into this horrible stack outside of main that was meant to punish the uh, the explosion. So there we go. That's a nice ri r round to find. Ooh. Yeah. yeah you, Sorry, words You went hard. somewhere with yeah, that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you, I mean, you get four losing the pistol T side Ancient. I, I think I don't think you can be unhappy about that. Hasn't hasn't looked the best at times, but does look if you put the numbers on the board, roll with it, baby. Still got to get the fourth, Jason. They do still have to get the fourth. Yeah. It feels like the rounds they're winning. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it feels like the rounds they're winning. They're sort of getting quite lucky with just hitting the perfect gap yeah. where they have no information. Like they just ran into A, they have no information, and it was just the perfect call. Yeah. But I feel like when they're in these rounds where they have to figure out the round, they're oh. struggling to put, to put together like the picture of what they're trying to actually yeah. overcome. It's like the set pieces are working That's sometimes. Nice. That's I don't the want to stick from the yeah, big game. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's more like it. And he faced him head well, on too. Kaspersky gave him all the information. He emptied <laughs> yeah. the magazine, pulled out the USP, ran into the corner to reload. Cryptic had all the information he needed <laughs> yeah. to come right through. But it's nice he got activated on the yes. back of it. And so now four on three. Boss looking for magic number four at the end of the half here. Bombs this. in T-spawn. They're taking lots of control over A. I, I wonder what they want to do here. They're losing mid. Yeah, the, Who's the, that? Cryptic in Cave is very isolated right now, but he's going to sell a fake, I think. 
I mean, they should be able to find him here. And so then that'll open up the three on three, but the rotate is going to be very late back over to Ward yeah. A. He, Cryptic is a dead man walking, but he sold the fake enough that it's going to be a quick rotate, but they should get the bomb down. Yeah, they, they'll beat him there for sure. And then utility again comes into question. There's one kit on Maxter, a second one picked up by Blue Phoenix just now. Oh, this A main flank is going to be massive. They're taking Donut though, I like that. Okay. They've got two smokes left, Nip. They can. They definitely can use these. That's like that's. Oh, he, he molly day main. He molly day main to sell. The, he thinks he's, he's trying to sell his teammates. Ah, uh, yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Now blue phoenix. Now they're going to discount this. Doesn't he's not going to have many fights. Anyway. Open, yeah. <laughs> Does have They've two smokes. A, they can they smoke got... donut. They can smoke the bomb. Yeah, they can double smoke it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this, nice. this complicates matters a bit for the donut post plant. Yeah, Nading open one smoke, smoke, but there's a second smoke. Pone alone will land the spam. Nice. They got she's lurk. That fourth round comes in for the boss squad. So they manage the, the kind of bare minimum here, but NIP still rolling through the lead, and they still seem pretty fired up. So we'll see how Ancient pans out in just a moment. place if you wanted to watch some Counter-Strike. If you didn't, well, you should. And you're also in the wrong place. I don't know how you got here. Right now, uh, it's it's the Nip Boys leading the charge. A bit of a streak at the end for a month of boss as they put two rounds consecutively on the board. They managed to get away with four. 
in that first half of play, Jason. Is that yeah, enough? That's the magic number. Four. Four is it's, the it's magic what I number. said. You, got, you can't be upset about four after losing the pistol on this T side. The way the T side started it was what, like six to one at one point, wasn't it as well? And there was a nice little stylistic change from Boston that first half. They stopped playing so spread because everyone, as we mentioned, was like a little timid, a little bit scared, not super confident. So those grouped up tactics, I think, actually paid off for them at the end of the day. Now we get to see what the CT side looks like. Very passive at the moment over at the A-bomb site. Watched from Temple. This is just straight up A-execute, isn't it? And then Kaspersky's just playing Disruptor from all the rotates on the B-side. Only the one smoke for the A-exec, so are going to be able to lock out CT? I guess they want to take Donut? They but... must want to take Donut, yeah. It can get tricky. Luckily enough, Boss won't have a quick rotate to there. So actually, Nipper in a good spot here. The bomb's the last thing to cross in. It's very dangerous. So they've been given a lot of runway here. I want to know what Kaspersky's going to do on this leg. When he doesn't get fought from anyone at lane, he knows they're coming CT. That makes life a bit better for his teammates in the site, but it's like, when and how does he get involved? Yeah, what's the timing which he decides to like make his move? And it's obviously right now he gets no lurk. Ooh. It's Maxter to get a nice double kill. And all from Donut, another one adds in. Blue Phoenix goes down. Freshy, he's got three kills in this so far, and he's put stopped. And Fang inside the smoke, he's got a kit, but he's already down low in an easy cleanup. That's both pistols for NIP. That CT push from Maxter just completely ripped yeah. that round open. Left the temple guys completely lost on the site. With nothing to do. Yeah. Well, that's not ideal. No. Nah. Four might have been the magic number, but yeah. a second half pistol would have been awesome. It would have been cream on top. Yeah. Really. yeah. yeah. He's still got the bomb down. And we all know that getting the bomb down with the pistol is actually a win. Yeah, good point. We're not done yet. They're still in this. <laughs> They've got a strong second round. No, they don't. No, they're CT side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they switched sides. Yeah, yeah, remember. Graham, I, forgot, I forgot about half time. You me down every half, a really you dark jet. road. <laughs> <laughs> You've just thrown me down under the bus. I like the fact that you agreed, though. Yeah. I, I was just going with it. I'm just used to it. It's automatically no more what I do with my co-casters. But yeah, you've abused that. All right, I'm sorry, Jason. That was a full USP eco. So in a way, we'll take what you guys were just saying. Now they get an early buy in round three. They get to come out with a gun straight away. And maybe that's goaded. Maybe that's the answer. Or maybe it's not. That's part of the thrill. That's you part never of the know. excitement. There's kind of two options every round. One Something's team wins. around the corner. All right. Galil's MAC-10 no for Maxter over on the T side. And then for Boss, they're coming through. No kit, admittedly, but a good bit of util because we have Darty down on the Famous. So they're hoping to win the gunfights here. Uh, being left in it's a retake could be rough. Remember. He's here in time, Freshy Fang. Freshy heard everything. Yep, and Fang is here in Temple. There's one. Oh, Blue Phoenix lost in the flashbang. Good ding, nice. good cleanup. But Alex and Kaspersky are keeping this within reach still. Low HP on one. And over towards Temple, Darty's going to join up. Fang isolated. Molotov forced into the open. Still wins. That was very elite. That's really nice, yeah. Getting a kill on the exit there. Not just getting out. And staying alive. Bang. Ooh, all right. That's some heat. That's a feel-good round yeah. for boss. They yeah. insta-rotate two on the back of the info. It's it, That was a nice round from the boss squad. Definitely. But now they just need, what, seven more exactly like that, and they're on to a winner. Yeah, it's easy round. <laughs> You've got the momentum now. That's all it takes. <laughs> Nimba just crumbling immediately. Yeah, this game isn't about tactics, right? It's about momentum. I mean, on the CT side especially, it's definitely about having moves. When you've only got two or does, three rounds buffer. Does like, Boss like to talk shit? Are they going to get loud if they start winning? Uh, they were just called noobs the entire first half. <laughs> no, I don't Surely think... Surely someone has a response. I don't think they're the kind of guys that are going to be talking shit. Oh, man. Maybe not during the game. I think if, if they win, I think you might get a few little... Okay. Re you know, ...retorts. We need the victory. Freshy challenge. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, Freshy's figured these guys out right now, it seems. Don't die. Stay alive. Stay yeah, alive. No need to die. Don't risk anything. No threat right now. You know the bomb's down. He can't get to it. Send your high HP guys in. Kill him off. Well, if your game plan as Nip was to try and abuse the A bomb site or establish success at the A bomb site earlier going on, you, you haven't succeeded. You've actually failed. No. I feel like a team like Nip should be trying to use their sort of greater experience and shock calling to, you know, 
take control of the map, drag the you know rotates the way you want them to go, and then I think that skip wouldn't, back to the other side. What do you think that experience angle would kind of get negated by the the new lineup, the stand-in? Yeah, you can definitely argue that they're a less cohesive team, but I feel like players at this level they at least have some understanding right, of like okay guys we're, we're gonna we're gonna show presence on B and then we're gonna you know the end goal is to go A. And right now it just feels like they've just rushed A. That's Alexi's favorite strat. <laughs> He Got, was, him he was a nip <laughs> Got him a major. Got him a major. Well, clean round here. Yep. As Five alive. That's nice. That's what they needed. Bit of hype now as well from the boss squad. I mean, this is the makings of a good CT side. The economy's rolling. They feel looks like they feel pretty confident in what they can do on their CT side. Why and right now, Nip haven't really offered up anything that looks half no. decent on their T side. So. But they haven't really gone B yet. It's been a bit <laughs> one note. And I know you might say, everyone watching along at home, you might say, well, they just went B. Uh, they kind of Ooh, did with Glock. Fresh so. is in for a bad time here. He hasn't upgraded that MP9, and they've all got head armor with AKs. Or, or one Galil. Are they just going to go A? <laughs> They're doing again? it again. They're like, they won't expect it three times in our first three gun rounds. Yeah, I mean, it's worked so well thus far in the game, right? Like, why not keep going back to it? Well, Ponalone's a different beast, and he's got an AK, and actually NIP looks like have almost even called off that heavy play towards A main. Shuffling between two ideas. I don't know, man. Old habits die hard. I think they're still going to go A. They might split mid, though. Or throw some smokes in mid just to try and... You kind of have to go A because you don't know anything about mid. You don't know anything about B lane. You have no control or presence in any of those places. You can go for a late mid control and mid take. Interestingly, boss also don't have any control B lane either. So they're just very smoking cave right now. They have no idea what's going on in the lane. And mid at this point. So both teams are playing with really lack of information. It's gonna be it's gonna be freshy with an MP9 trying to hold down Donut from the, this mid push. If he can if he can lure him in and let him get close and play around this, right? That's that's everything. Yeah. He's got a rotator coming back towards mid, who's gonna be blocked off by smoke. A is starting to get a little bit more heavily defended. He's managed to avoid that molly. If he sneaks back through it, no. it's a little awkward. Pone alone now needs to be the guy. He needs to be the hero. They all line up for him, Damn. but it's cleanly done Save. from old mate Wrinkle. So NIP, they finally get through the A-hold. Yeah, through mid though, and that, that'll that be something boss takes note of. I don't, I mean, they spent so much utility with the early mid control, I think that that's what, that what was called off in A-Main. Alex is over there like counting smokes and he's like, all right, after this one, they got nothing left. They're going to have to back away. Then we take mid and handle business. But this is how I expected Nip to play on the T side against what you assume to be a less experienced team is to you know, take the map control slowly, drag them around, like right. not, not cause them to either have tons of people. Less the calls out of spawn and more, more exactly, moving around yeah. the map. Maybe should get Forest. Yeah. He's still got it, man. He's, he's still really got it. good. Like he's really good. He's experienced. Think of that. You know, the experience is worth a experience lot. Experience level. You want to, want to major with him? And then you'd have existed behind Forest in a nip jersey. As There's opposed some to a Dignitas to jersey. Yeah, as opposed to a Dig jersey. Yeah, Actually, wait, did Zist it... coach that Dig jersey? No, I think Fifth Flaren started it as a coach and then, then moved into a GM and then Vendetta yeah. came in. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that was it. They had Halbor. Yeah. Yep. Halbor yep. Gullestol. Yeah, great, great coach in terms of he, no, he doesn't sleep. He's no. always he's always looking at things. <laughs> and he only eats chicken nuggets. And he only so eats he's chicken cheap nuggets. to keep fed. That's his salary. 300 chicken nugget allowance for a month. 10 a day. That's actually not that many. That's no. not enough. No. <laughs> That's not nearly enough chicken nuggets. <laughs> They're not that nutritional. No. Well, or, or, or that calorie dense. To differ. I don't You've know. If you add it. some ketchup in there, you get your veggies. Kinda, yeah. yeah. There's no argument America, with that. The one place that classifies pizza as a vegetable because of the tomato sauce. There's vegetable elements to it. I would not personally <laughs> classify it as a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the government did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. I think because it met a certain threshold of like the amount of like tomatoes to the rest of the. Wow, that's awesome, that it, Jason. It, How does that feel? <laughs> it's, it's just one more reason I'm proud of my yeah. country. <laughs> Add it to the long yeah. list. On the food pyramid, vegetables yeah. are up there. You got French fries in there because they're potatoes. Yeah, absolutely. Pizza because of the tomato sauce. Right. Barbecue sauce, vegetable. Because <laughs> it's got tomato sauce in it. It probably it does. does. Yeah. Yeah.
And IP, though, they're not playing with vegetables. They're playing with nuts right now. They are looking to run away with this. At 11-7. Oh, yeah, they were struggling to find the boss. util in spawn. New buy man, new feature. Okay, boys, that. we've hit A five times. Rush B well, that's through the Molotov as well. Let's make it easy. You're telling me no one smoked that? No one could have smoked that? That's Someone rough. Someone could have. Everyone's flashed. Oh. oh, but no one's aware that any more was up. Boss took their eye off the ball. Oh, oh what a trade. This is brawly and it's messy. Oh, it's just an orb left. And it's a 1v2. And they got no money. Like, he really has to save this. Unless he gets a very quick early kill if one of them goes down ramp or something. Oh, it's a sad save. The so, worst kind of save. I feel like Boss had that round. I, I don't I don't understand why they had two guys holding cave when they know that they'd bombed up the bomb site. Yeah, that was weird. It's uh, I don't know I don't know how many the first I don't recall how many of the first guys spotted. I know he sprayed down one, but I, I mean, think he was, like, half-flashed when he took yeah, that fight. Yeah, which maybe he couldn't call numbers, but if someone's coming up ramp with that kind of a pace, you sort of have to assume it's going to be a B-Rush or more than one person doing it. Yeah, not often one guy just Hail Marys through a Molotov for 55 damage and there's no one behind him. Not often. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, <laughs> they've been trained. <laughs> which is why he should have respected it. Exist is smiling away. He's having a great time. He's just like, I can't believe we won that Yeah. <laughs> Default. Ooh. Ooh, the vibes don't seem at an all time high right now for Boss. It was a very silent reaction cam. Yeah. Yeah, very def very deflated. I think they I think they realize that they should be I think actually a bit more in this game than they are. Oh, there this, you go. Is nice. this is more like they it. Yeah. a portion of the wind. Play with D's nuts. <laughs> Wrinkle. These wrinkled nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jason's bringing to the table. That's what I got for you today. But that's like more than no respect kind of counter strike they were playing against us at the RMR. Like yeah. they were just getting in our faces even on T side. And it made it really hard to play against. Well, you know, when you hit rock bottom, sometimes that, that, that feeling triggers into you. And I guess when you're staring at a seven to twelve score line, you're like, you know, we might as well Do might as well just try this. Yeah. Now, now I think that they really want to get those Famuses upgraded to those AKs in mid. I think Freshie's about to get one. There it goes. And Dardy probably wants to head over there as well. Or just up the up lane and get another one. They're hunting even, it looks like. They might push it all the way forward around a T-spawn. I don't think that's worth it. On like, I mean, as soon as it rings out, they'll get pushed from both sides. But I, I think they're they're thinking the way you are right now is we don't have any money. Let's not lose any more weapons. He can keep this off, but they are going to lose one. And now they start pushing in towards T-Spawn. He's aware. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't know if it's worth it anymore. I just like, you don't want to get like two more round wins in and like have them not be super clean. Like you had four guys alive. Like you've got to try and have another four rounds of economy. You don't want to be like two rounds, two yeah. more rounds in and win win those rounds by like one or two people and be on famuses again. They could have, uh, no, they don't really have a, they don't have a smoke. They might they try and kill them after time. No, there's no way. There's no way. They're happy with, no. happy with the victory. Happy with the dub. See, not of approval. But then they should have just stuck with four guys alive. <laughs> if they were, if they yeah, were happy. That's a fair point. <laughs> 12-8. 12-8. It's pretty close, honestly. Boss, they threw uh, a wild round out there. I hope they keep playing like that. That was That's fun. And Fang, whenever he goes for those sorts of pushes, he looks good, man. 16 and 13 up there alongside Freshy. Like that. Over in mid. Baxter edging around the smoke. Ooh. A little too much edge. Boost up as well. There's a very quick A flank coming in from Freshie if he keeps keeps pushing. They might just keep him there and be content with like the, the forward info, but eventually he should spring the trap, right? Well, Maxter's found such a nice route and timing to get towards Red Room. Has he managed to get past the donut? Yeah, he, yep. he got past the donut. He has. Oh, this is brutal. Darty's so blind. Oh boy. Oh, oh what a save! Cryptic blind saves Darty's life. I don't know how. Oh, yeah, but they right. don't know about Maxter. Yeah, yeah. I this. think Ponalone thought he had the angle and he didn't. But he's going into A. 
Are they going to do the full road to here? Just go straight well, across? They could it? run into Pone alone, right? Yeah. Like, when you make it across for free, you're probably thinking, okay. They are going to go A, but Max is not actually doing much right now. Nothing's clear. Yeah. Nothing's clear for He's this He's like, route. guys, come on over. Yeah. Even if they went all the way around, they don't know about Freshy in, in A main. So Maxter hasn't actually been able to open anything up the way he probably sold them in the comms. Yeah. He'll get a kill here. But they're not going to expect Maxter in A main, are they? Freshy just needs to stay alive. Freshy just needs to not give up that he's there. Does he get baited in by the bomb plant, though? Because Wrinkle's coming in so, so late. He can't really put a stop to this. Good molly towards him in there. Aware they haven't seen Freshy. Now he's out in the open. Oh, All awkward fight against the headshot yeah. angle. And now this round is in control of NIP. And they have to go for this retake. And they know Max does somewhere. Which he makes awesome. it really awkward, right? Yeah, As they're really rotating awkward. over, they're like, oh, great. He's somewhere in spawn. Uh, that's awesome, I guess. Because now I'm terrified. Yeah. And... Boss yeah. needs to speed up a bit here. Well, they can't yeah. even trade. They're all going. They're all yeah. taking from different positions. So nobody can trade anything. Yeah, three guys have to win three fights at this point. And we're already halfway through the bomb, and none of the fights have been won. Well, okay. it's a real anticlimactic close, isn't it? But yeah. NIP, they're happy to get it over the line. They explode with celebration, man. That one was tightening up a little bit. But NIP. They will lock in this opening Hell yeah. That was Boss's map pick as well. So Boss now find themselves one map away from elimination, which no one wants to be there. No, not at all. That's really sad.